Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in Tales of Arvord, Seasons of the Wolf. Yeah. This was developed by Winter Wolves, published by Rattalaka Games, and is available for a bit of an eye-watering, let me just adjust my fake glasses to see the cost here, £19 and $19.99 pence slash cents. Okay. Quite the uh, leap in price there, but still, it is quite a very decent game. Now, this is a visual novel, but it's not like the uh, press the right bumper button three times and get yourself a nice easy 1k in five minutes kind. Oh, <laughs> no. You actually have to do some work. And I hear the bemoans of life filtering through <laughs> from some people there. Uh, it is still a very easy game with certain settings switched on, so don't panic yourself too much. But if you want to play this legit too, it does seem like a very fun game, especially if you in are into this sort of a genre. Achievements wise, it is literally you get all 20 achievements for completing each chapter and that's about it. But of course, in this I'll be telling you where to go, what to do in order to get a nice new shiny 1k as quick as possible. And again, I've tried to go as fast but kind of slow so you can keep up, so I am hoping that the pacing of the guide is good. This is going to take around 30 to 40 minutes to complete, and so with that being said then, let us begin. And the first thing we're actually going to do is head straight to preferences before we go into new game. So head down to preferences. And eventually, and eventually, okay, there we go. Right, so what we're going to do, go all the way over to the left where it says skip text and skip after choices. You know, and get yourself over there. So, skip text all. Skip after choices. Skip. Transitions, none. There you go, transitions there, bottom left corner, so none. Text speed, make sure that is all the way at the far right. And the same with auto forward time, make sure that is at the far right as well. Virtual cursor, make sure to choose yes. Just makes life a hell of a lot easier for us there. So, uh, the rest of it, music volume and sound volume, you can do what you want. Otherwise, we can just head back. Um, just make sure again that you've got every, all the settings up there. If they're all good, now we can press new game. And uh, what we're going to do, make sure to choose visual novel mode at the very, very bottom. Uh, it basically just skips all the battles of the game, which again, makes life a hell of a lot easier. So, we can pick any character we want. I go for the female because deep down, I think I'm a woman. Trapped in a man's wiener body. Uh, but no, you can pick whoever you want. Uh, we're just gonna basically auto generate all the stats. So you can just pick whatever class you want here, it literally makes no difference. You can just press the start button to go next. Uh, we're gonna press the X button here to put all the auto stats in. So you don't have to mess around. And again, unless you play in uh, the game legit, which again is highly recommended. Look, does look like a fun game. But just for the achievements, we are going to press the X button to auto put all our attributes and stats in so uh, yeah don't know what's taking me so long right here uh, so just keep spamming the A button for a couple of times right here John O'Shea and then we can press the X button again to auto sign her skills or our skills as it were and once again there we go and now we're gonna fast forward the game so press the right bumper once it's gonna fast forward the game like hell and if you're very good at reading, then you'll probably know what's going on. If not, near panic and near bother yourself. Okay, so this, um, basically, this is the sort of main area of the map. We end up going on these maps to go to certain places. And the first thing we're going to be doing then is heading down the bottom of the map with the blue one. Movement, take the road to Nimin. Ninim. Go to the general shop, which will be the one in the sort of middle there. So it will say whatever you're looking for at the top. Uh, again, you can just press the right bumper. Normally, you should be good to go. Next, we're going to go back to our home, which is the blue arrow. Next, we're going to um, go home, which is on the left-hand side, so we get a new quest. And we're going to go back to Ninim, which is where it says the battle on the sort of road there at the bottom of the map. Sort of bottom right corner, it's in a weird way. But um, yeah, just, you'll just have to press the battle button there, and then we can take the road to Ninim. Ninim. Right, next we're going to go to the healer's shop, which again, sometimes it's easy to know, it's on the right hand side, basically in the middle of the houses right there, so that's the healer's shop. We've got another quest complete. Man, we've got a lot of quests for little pay, which is basically uh, in real life right now, isn't it? Uh, we're going to take the road back to home, there it is, um, so top left corner, and go home. Now what we need to do is rest for one full day. Now we have to do this around five times. So you're going to keep clicking your home, keep clicking rest for one day, 
Um, so yeah, you basically get five days off there and get paid absolutely nothing, which again is pretty much sounds about right for all our jobs in real life. But just keep clicking it and then it will automatically uh, end this first chapter and go into chapter two. So again, just keep clicking on your home and keep clicking for rest one full day. Actually, that is my kind of job, to be honest. Go out for a bit and then rest for a full day for five days straight. Lovely. Right, so what we're going to do is just keep clicking the first option here three times. So a dirty looking hut. So for the majority, we will be clicking just the top option. I will obviously tell you when we need to click other options. But that will be uh, chapter two done and chapter three done as well. So from here, what we're going to do is take the road to Ninim. Again, the movement there, the bottom blue arrow. We're going to go into the Ding Diran tent. Which will be the sort of one right in the middle of the four other tents sort of thing right there. Right, we're going to go home. So movement, take the road to home again. And once again, we're going to go home. And we're going to rest for one day for three days in a row. So, uh, yeah, god damn, man. That's, um, you literally have to nip out, nip out to the shop. I wish I could do that. Right, go to nip to Tesco and then take three days off doing nothing. Ha, it's the dream that we are. It's the dream that we're made of. Right, what we're going to do is take the road to the mining abandoned area, which is the right-hand side blue arrow there. And then what we need to do is just, we need to keep searching each abandoned cave. So pick any ones you want until we get a choice that is either yes or no. So for me, it was right there, so I need to choose yes. So as soon as you get that, make sure to choose yes. Uh, if nothing happens, just go onto the same abandoned cave and then press yes again. And then it should move on and the achievement should be done. That should be chapter 4 unlocked. Right, also what we're going to get now is the uh, chapter 5. We're going to get this one done because of course we don't need to do any boss fights because we are basically on steroids. Thanks to those accessibility settings. Oh, it's my favourite word, accessibility. So that's chapter 5 done anyway. Right, now this is uh, kind of a long one. We're into a completely new area now. We've basically been kidnapped, or that is to my understanding. So, uh, what we need to do then, we need to go to the neutral district. So you've got two blue arrows here. One that goes to the southern gate and one to the neutral district. The one at the top is the way we go into the neutral district. We need to go to the Lugal territory. Lugal, which is the blue arrow pointing sort of down, uh, sort of left, if you wish. Down, left, whatever. Click on the family mansion, which is obviously a big mansion. And then just click on the two new red arrows that have appeared, which is the uh, two mercenaries. Again, pure steroid strength. We've destroyed it. So click the blue arrow to go back to the neutral district. There she blows. Now go to the Gamesh territory, which is the sort of top right corner. Uh, if you want to, yeah, top right, yeah, whatever. Do the same thing then. Click on the family mansion. And then click on both sets of mercenaries, the two red arrows that have appeared. And then guess where we're going? Back to the neutral district. I don't have any strong feelings about that one way or the other. Now take the top left arrow to go to the market district right there. And now we're going to go to two new territories. The Galana territory, which is the bottom left corner. The, the, the sort of bottom left, whatever it is. Family mansion again, click on the family mansion. Click on the two sets of mercenaries, the two uh, red arrows, of course, that have appeared again. And they go back to the market district. What fun, huh? A lot of walking. Right, now go to the Kidu territory in the top right blue arrow. Kidu. Again, do the same thing, click on the family mansion, and then just click on the two sets of mercenaries. Okay. And then with this one done, what we're going to do is go all the way back to the arena. So from here, click the blue arrow to go back to the mark district. The bottom right to go to the neutral district. New nope. Bottom right to go to the neutral district. And again, click it again to go to the arena district. Then click on the arena in the middle of the map. And then choose yes. And that is chapter 6 done. Oh my gosh, aren't we just something of a fantastic kid? Krim. That's a top name. Criminal. Right, choose the first two options, sure why not, and then probably, and then the first option again, he must have missed his hometown, slash, he probably misses his old glasses. Right, so from here then, what we can do is now go to the neutral district, which again is the sort of top left arrow right there as we unlock chapter 7. Now we're going to go to the small crown, which is in the very sort of, very right area right there, so the small crown... Sort of top right, bottom right, whatever it is. Anyway, choose the first option there to bet some money. 
and then bet 10 gold on the spider. So again, that's uh, the top option. So after all this is done, what we can do, Rowinda. Well, actually, she just looks like a nut job, a conspiracy theorist. All birds aren't real. That one. Anyway, head to the <laughs> sewers entrance. Now, we can just explore this until the quest is complete. There's nothing... Uh, you can just keep clicking the arrows there until the quest is complete. So we're just going to spam the crap out of that. While um, Rowinda starts talking about how all birds aren't real and how all flying cars should be a thing right now. Although I do agree with her on that, mind. Uh, so when we get back to here, what we can do is go to the market district. Again, top left corner. And then this time, for the first time, we are going to the north gate, which again is the top left corner. Ah, oh, she blows. So top left, go to the northern gate. Very uh, Game of Thronesy. Uh, what we can do is search, which is in the middle of the area right there. And next, we're going to go to the tavern, which is the, called the Shady Oasis on the right-hand corner. There it is. Choose uh, choice one to pay Arden's tab. Lazy git. Search again, the red arrow in the middle. Just choose search. And then from here, what we're going to do is just go ahead all the way back to the neutral district. So blue arrow, blue arrow again on the bottom right. And then what we need to do is go to each of the territories once again and get rid of both sets of territories. So we'll just start off in the Lugal one. Uh, get rid of both sets of mercenaries. And, well, we can't go through the West Gate, so don't worry about that. So just head up to the Gamesh one. Do the same thing. Click on both sets of red arrows. Just to get rid of both mercenaries. And then back up to the Neutral District and then up to the Market District. Next, we are going to do, um, well, it's it's easier if you do Kidu first and then Galana, but it pretty much makes no difference. It's just because we have to end up back in Galana and go into a shop right there. So, you can do it in any way, just make sure to get both the sets of, mer oh, well, all four sets of mercenaries done in both of the areas right here. So, once that is done then, what we can do is head uh, back to Galana territory. And go to the shop called Trinkets and Treasures, which should be immediately as you clicked on it. Uh, again, one boss fight, which a <laughs> steroid infused, we ain't doing it, is all done. Now we can go back to the north gate. So it should be in the next area here and to the uh, sort of top left. And now we can turn back around from here. So just go to the north gate, don't do anything, we can just head back. And we're going to go all the way back to the arena. You can just press continue there, that's fine. But we're heading all the way back to the arena. So bottom right, bottom right, and then click on the arena, there it is, come in, dinger, click yes, right, now what we need to do is we just need to keep picking search slave cells, and have you recently seen a stranger clad in green around here, so they're the only two options you're going to be picking for the time being, so search slave cells, and have you recently seen a stranger in green clad around here. So keep clicking that then until uh, you come up to a boss fight and that basically unlocks the achievement for completing the chapter. So when then that bit is finally done, what we're going to do is choose the first option twice again. So Riley, maybe something about you. <laughs> and then, okay, if that's what he wants to believe. That's really, really what he wants to believe after missing his old glasses. And that'll be chapter 8 done. Now what we're going to do is choose the top option 12 times until chapter 9 is complete. So just keep picking the top option. Nothing else. Top option, please. And that's how you get through any fight. So if you're in a fight in real life, just keep picking the top option, which will be, I don't know. Anyway, same thing here. What we're going to do is keep picking the top option again to complete chapter 10. We only need to do this around four or five times this time. Assassin Thief. Well, that's pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, so just keep picking the top option here about four times. Damn, I shouldn't have asked why you were an Assassin Thief, but goddamn, that's hard. Stop inquiring... And there we go, that's chapter 10 done. So we've only got 10 chapters left. 
So what we need to do now is just keep clicking on each of the fresh tracks until one at the very top appears on the cracks. So just keep clicking each arrow here, and then when the new arrow appears there at the top, make sure to click that one. Then what we're going to do is click cho uh, choice one, which is his words, sounded honest to me, I think he deserves our trust. And then when that one is done, that is chapter 11 complete. The bloodied bear. Right, so from here we are back into the arena area now. What we're going to do is head to the Kidu territory. So back up to the neutral district from here. And then back to the market district, which is in the top left. And then the Kidu territory, which is top right. And just uh, click on the family mansion. So we're going to do click on the family mansion to get a new quest. What we're going to do is go to the Lugal territory. So bottom left to go back to the market district. Uh, we're going to go back to the neutral, um, not the north gate. We're going to go to the neutral district right there and head to the Lugal territory, which is bottom left corner. And we need to go to the Iron Hall, which is right on the sort of very bottom right. Right there, there she goes. Okay, again, we're going to keep clicking any arrow until we get through the dungeon. Um, if you have any choices, it literally doesn't matter which one you pick. I just keep choosing the top option, which is Riley's Magic to open the gates. So literally doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, we can just keep clicking any arrow to a love life. Uh, anyway, as soon as we are through the dungeon and we are back here, what we need to do is head to the Kidu territory to take care of the mercenaries. So just click on the uh, mercenaries right here, the Lugal ones. Then we can head back to the neutral district. Or we can just take shortcuts. In fact, it's probably going to be easier to take shortcuts this time. So take shortcuts. Now we're in the Galana territory, so do the mercenary ones. And then we're going to take it to go to the Gamesh. Uh, so the next shortcut to go to the Gamesh territory right there. Click on them, smash them out the way. And then the bottom arrow right there to go to the Kidu district. And that is the quest complete. So that's all good. So from here, we're going to go back to the market district, down to the neutral district, and then down back down to the arena. Uh, so again, click on the arena here. Click yes. And then we need to basically navigate our way through yet another dungeon. So again, you're just going to keep clicking on the green arrows. It makes near butter, not a little bit of not a butter. Butter. I can't believe it's not butter difference. There we go. Boss fight. Wow, nice eyeball. And look, you, you had a eyeball for a wiener, but still. Uh, choose the first option here, and choose the first option again. It's probably the main reason why everyone's so horny in this game. So we're going back to the arena once again. They seem to be having a good time in like bikinis and you know swimswear and stuff. I thought they were captured. Anyway, back to the arena here. And then finally, we're going to choose yes, and then the top option again, which is, all right, I'll do it. Oh, look, she's a jester of some kind now. Man, chick is really off her head. Right, so that's chapter 12 complete. Lovely. Right, we're going to, through another dungeon, and again, we're just going to keep clicking on all the arrows. Uh, you can either assassinate or sneak past. It makes not a, not a lot of, I can't believe it's not, but a difference again, until we get four arrows that are all in a line. Like, uh, I think it's after this one. There it is. So, from the top left most uh, arrow, what you're going to do is click the same thing each time. So, you're going to click eavesdrop first. So, the second option, eavesdrop. And then try to force the lock open. And then, after you do that once, you can just leave. Go to the next arrow, do the same thing. So, so, so pick option number two, which is eavesdrop. Open door. And then, you can just leave again. And then you just need to do that then for the next two arrows as well. Yeah, we are really uh, smashing through something now. Uh, so again, <laughs> just do then all the closed doors. Eavesdrop on everyone. We are a stranger, but who cares apparently? Uh, right, what we're going to do after this boss fight. <laughs> the, the demons. <laughs> Holy crap, that was revealing. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to return to the area. Click yes. And we get paid handsomely, 123 coins after all that, but we do get an achievement for completing chapter 13, which is all good. So when we get the option, we're going to choose the top option, which will be obey. 
So there it is, click obey, because Jafar-looking mofo from the Aladdin series is, uh, well, killer's dead. So, uh, we're coming into Act 3 now, which is summer, and we've got roughly about 15 minutes left of gameplay. Or, sort of, clicking play, whatever it is. So, after all this bit is done then, the great escape, escape, I meant. <laughs> there we go, so we're into summer. Choose the top option there, auto level all lower level characters to level 14. And then that's basically um, chapter number 14 done. So now we are into the sort of last main area of the game. This one is the longest in the game. So the first thing we're going to do is enter and exit the tavern, which is called the Drowned Rat, right here. So after all that, we're going to exit the tavern. And then just above it is going to be the forge, which we're going to go into next. So forge, exit once again. And then go into the House of Healing, which would be in the sort of middle of the map right there. And that you'll automatically exit. Then go down to the bottom right blue arrow. Which uh, will hit us in the dock. So the shackle split docks. Then choose the green arrow here for Jariel. After that one we can head back to the shackle split. And then the top left corner go into the residence. The Merrow's residence. After this one go back to the dock. Which again of course is the blue right bottom arrow. There it is. And that will be, uh, choose Jariel again, and that'll be number chapter 15, number chapter, chapter number 15 done. Kraken. Oh, well, he looks pretty Kraken, doesn't he? Right, you can do what you want with the volcano. Click all the green arrows until we are able to have a choice. So, choice it up. Here we coming. Here's the coming. Here's the coming, huh? Right, choose stay with Jariel. So again, it's just all the top options three times. Gosh, I think I should be flattered. You tell me I have a nice rumpus and all. Uh, choose Shay. And there we go. That is chapter 16 complete. And then we're going through a nice little trip through the forest. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Oh no, a forest. What a lovely day. We're not scared. And I tell you what, anyone who's got kids will know that story like hell. Uh, but anyway, choose whatever you want through the forest. <laughs> Oh no, it's a big giant snake. Run through. And there we go. Right, next is the longest chapter in the game. So we've done chapter 17. So we're going to choose the top option here twice. So we're going to support Jariel. And that's awesome. Such old wisdom for such big ears. And then what we can do now is get, we're going to ec enter and exit the tavern. The drowned rat tavern. <laughs> um... Well, refuse, and then we're going to exit the tavern anyway, so that's all good. And then we're going to enter the forge again. And to get a new quest, we're going to exit once more. And then for the final one, we're going to enter the Merrow's residence, which of course is in the top left-hand corner right there. That's to get another quest. So, this one we're going to be going to the ship and going to a whole bunch of random places. Which, to be fair, if you're not having to pay for it, that's pretty good. So, to the docks, to the ship... Take it back now, y'all. Click the top one there, Nind Juna. Right, now we're just going to choose the top option around 9 or 10 times. We just keep clicking the top option. We get some money and stuff, and everyone's happy. So, what we're going to do is head back to the Shackle Split main area. And at the bottom left, or sort of bottom of the map there, you can see Rowinda's house. So, what we're going to do is click that, and we're going to relax for two days. So, make sure to click it again, and then Relaxo Rancho once more. So, when we've done that, let's go back to the ship. Ship, pa, 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 And then go to the south coast. Gosh, that sounds lovely. Right, what we're going to do is choose the top option again three times. So this is a job for t uh, Chicken Tika Chalasa. There we go. But I'm not afraid of getting to know you. Hell nah. And then I agree with that decision. So the top option again. Next, we're going to go back to Rowinda's house. So after a nice little sail through the southern countryside of the south coast, we're just going to go back to Rowinda's house and relax twice. Gosh, I tell you what, it's really, this is my kind of thing. Go for a nice little sail and then relax for two days. 
Oh, if only I had all the money, huh? Right, so this bit requires 500 gold. So what we have to do is go to the tavern, the drowned rat, um, and pick choice to accept. If you don't have enough gold coins, uh, just go to any shop. Um, there's one called II Captain on the docks, and there's one in the main area, and you just need to sell off some of your inventory. Uh, but if not, and we're all good, then we can crack on. So we, after that, we can go to the Marrow's residence to get a new quest. Then we can head back to the ship. So the II Captain is on the left-hand corner, the left-hand side there, um, in this area. Go to the hidden cave anyway, and then choose choice three, board the pride of Lucos. Uh, choice two, the captain's quarters, hindquarters. Uh, choice two, the crew's hindquarters. Choice one, the cargo hold. And then choice two, yes, open it, because you've come all this way, why wouldn't you open up a treasure chest? Uh, boss fight, which looks scary, but we're on steroids, of course, that's all good. So when we're back here, we're just going to head back to the main area and go to Rowinda's house. I would, after literally getting boned by a skeleton boner, uh, it's probably worth just relaxing for a couple of days. That looked nasty. So relax again <laughs> for a couple of days. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, head to the ship once again in the docks. And we're going to choose choice one, Topakway. Topakway, eh? Hey! Right, choose choice one again. Jariel's plan is best. And that's pretty much the end of that one. So again, all they did was go for a nice... Oh, wait, they did have... I, I was going to say a nice little ride, but uh, they ended up fighting again. So, back to Rowinda's house and relaxing for another two days. Fair play, man. She's got a hell of a nice house in order for us to relax for two days straight again. And once again, what we're going to do, we're going to enter the Drowned Rat. Literally, that's all what we look like after we've just come from a night out when it's raining outside. Uh, and then the Forge. And that's going to get us another new quest. And uh, we just exit here. And then we're going to go back to the Marrow's Residence, the, the sort of left, top left-hand corner. Right from here, we're going to go back to the ship. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of uh, lot of strain on the thumbs this time. Choose choice one there, alaka, alaka, ka, ka, ka. and then choose choice one again. Let's try sneaking in, and then shea, all oh, shea butter makes my skin look better. And once this one is done, we're going to go back to the shackle split main area, and go back to Rowinda's house, and relaxo rancho twice again, aro. Oh, relaxo rancho twice again, yeah. Huh? So what we can do here, from now, we're going to go back to the forge. And we're going to accept any item. So it doesn't matter which you pick. You're going to pick something. So I choose the sword because arg, I'm a pirate arg. Only, only a captain gets to say arg. I arg, I'm sorry arg. So pick whatever you want and then we're going to head back to the ship. And we're going to choose choice one, the pirate grotto. See, I told y'all there was a reason arg. I chose the sword arg. Choose the first option, nobody. And the top option again. All we have is not much. And that's job done. Now we can accept any item again. I'm choosing the knockoff um, Thor's hammer right there. If you ordered Thor's hammer from Wish. So the middle one just make, doesn't make, make a difference whichever one you picked. And we're going to head to Rowinda's house and relax again. Uh, for another two days. But after this, this next part requires a whole random amount of gold. Um, so there's probably around 2,000 which you need. For me, it was 2,900. So if you do need money, um, it's probably worth this time you may need some money. Um, so we're going to sell off some inventory. So what should happen right now is the ability to pay. Um, and if you don't get the ability to pay and you just get the exit tavern sign, what we need to do then is just head to any shop. Um, and I end up just going to... Uh, I forget which one. Nope, that's not a shop. I press on the Y button to go to the menu. Oh, the Houses of Healing. Yeah, so you can go to the House of Healing or the Old Sailor right there, whichever one. Just click to sell all items in this category here on the right-hand side. Because, uh, let's face it, we don't need any, do we? We're all good. So just sell all the items what you've got. You should have roughly about the same. If not, maybe one less, maybe one more. Then we can leave the shop, go back to the Drown Rat, and now you should have enough. Whatever, it, again, it's a completely random amount, but you should now have enough in order to pay him again. Sons of basket head. And then get a new quest. From here, though, we can just head back to the ship, 
and we are going to choose uh, the first choice, which of course is Lonely Polly. Choose the second choice, I turn to the east, not the west, but the east, so turn two. And choice two again, I've got to turn clockwise a little and then look through my telescope. And then choice one to the north, take it back now y'all. Two hops this time, nutty nuts. Oh, oh, we've done a lot of nutty nutting in our life, haven't we? Right, so we've, uh, we're just going to earn a hell of a lot of treasure now, right now, which is nice. But now we're going to head back to Rowinda's house. We are almost done, by the way. We're getting closer and closer. Uh, we're going to relax <laughs> for another two days here. And then we are going to head straight back to the Drowned Rat Tavern. And from here, uh, luckily we don't have to pay the Sons of Biscuit Head anything. But we are going to go to the Merrow's Residence in the top left corner. Huge villa. Nice teeth, bro, by the way. Must be British, apparently. Uh, right, uh, head to the ship, according to every American ever. We've all got bad teeth. Uh, go to the ship, choose choice one here, the Bay of Sorrows. And then choice two to close in. Pirates left, 24. So we've earned 3,000 gold coins, which is always nice. Oh, look, it's another. it must be another British Kraken right there. Uh, <laughs> with his teeth. Right, when we've beaten him, we should get 10,000 gold coins. Next, we can head... Back to Rowinda's house and relax for another two days. Alright, I'm British. I don't go to the dentist, apparently. Uh, so there we go. So relax for another two days. Go back to the ship once again. This is going to be the last time we're going to be doing this. Thank God. Uh, choose the first choice. Gristlebone Hills. Oh, hello, Lord Gristlebone. Uh, choose choice one. Let's go with Chalassa's idea. Chicken Tikka Chalassa. And then go to Rowinda's house after this bit is done and we're going to relax again. Bad dentist reputation. <laughs> so just go ahead, go to Rowinda's house and relax again and again. And then after this, just head to the Merrow's residence, the top left corner. And we now have the ability to leave. We were finally able to leave this area. And we're going to start heading home. So, new arrow in the top right-hand corner. So, leave shackle split and start to travel back to Ninim. So, we're almost there. A couple of minutes left to do. A couple of things left. And that is it. So, we're going to auto-level all lower-level characters now to level 21. So, make sure to ch choose the top option. And that is going to be chapter 18 done. So, this is the final thing what we're going to do. We're going to move to the next screen. So, it... And then we're going to choose the first option here three times. So help him. Oh, centaurs. Hello. Fight. Oh, never mind. And then it doesn't matter that it says quest fail. Don't worry about that. We are going to kill her, which is just... It's, it's a shame, but, uh, you know, bro, we want to go home. So we're going to move to the next screen with the blue arrow. And then we're going to choose the first option twice again. So avoid the Minotaur. Minotaur. And then take the left path. There we go. And then from here, what we're going to do is actually click the topmost arrow. So right in the, sort of the middle of the screen there, click the top one above the four arrows. Now, this does require 5,000 gold. If you do need some money, you can sell some money at, um, off at the shop, but you shouldn't need money. You've got 10,000 from beating the Kraken, which is fine. So choose the top option a couple of times again. So again, always just the top option here. And we are all done. Unlucky Julius. Alright, so from after this one, we are going to move to the next screen with the only blue arrow on screen. Very close, are we best be, mate? I'm knackered. Knackered, mate. And then what we're going to do is just keep clicking the search button. So we're going to need to choose uh, the search button a couple of times right here. So searchy, searchy, search. Arriva searchy. Arriva dirty, arriva searchy. Right, so from here, we're going to go to the tavern after clicking search one more time. Uh, human footprints, I. Human footprints, I, I. And I, 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 I. Right, go to the tavern. And we are finally back in Nim, 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 Nim. That's a general shop. There it is. So click on the tavern. And then we're going to travel to the north, which again will be the top left sort of blue arrow right there. So travel to the north. Wow, that's a great looking bro. Man, he must get all the ladies. Uh, then we're going to travel to the east, which is the sort of top right corner. Through thorny bushes. 
And for the final time, we are going to travel the bottom left corner, which is the thickest north or the thickest northwest of Ninim. The thicket northwest of Ninim. So as soon as you click on that arrow, that will be chapter 19 complete, and it will also be chapter 20 completo. So there we go then, guys and gals. So what did you think of the game then? Whether you played it legit or whether you played it along with me. Again, hopefully the pacing of the guide was good. And, you know, if you enjoyed the game and the guide was good, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget, of course, to check me out my socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just such legends. And there it is then, lovely 20 out of 20, but I'll see you in the next one guys and gals, <laughs> ba 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 big love.